Nguyen and you're watching Falco K9 TV for May 2011. April was another busy month for us here at Falco K9 Academy. ABC News did a great story on our bed bug detection dogs. We informed and entertained thousands of people at America's Family Pet Expo. Sadly, however, we lost one of our beloved police canines on April 17th. Canine Ike was shot while out on a call doing what he did best protecting and serving the Palm Springs community. He died at the scene. Ike's handler, Officer Colin Tuano, was also shot, but was saved not only by Ike, but also his bullet-resistant vest. Canine Ike will be deeply missed. So I made a little mistake in saying a couple months ago that I'd be interested in putting on a bite suit and doing a little bite work myself. Yeah, I could go ahead and put my foot in my mouth right about now because Andy did not forget that. So guess what he did? He put me in a bite suit and sent me to the dogs. Literally, take a look. Oh my hands are sweating. My heart is racing now. I'm about to pass out. You know what? Thank you. Thanks so much. You know what, Andy? You probably should clean underneath your toenails. Let me get your jacket for you. Okay, are you in? <laughs> oh, this, okay. This is really heavy. Okay. Yeah, you'll feel a little bit. The okay. pressure. Okay. Not tea. Okay. But pressure. Okay. But let me know. So the dog will come up, the dog will, uh, and then he'll stop here and he'll be barking. Okay. Alright, and you're gonna stand still. As long as you're standing still, he won't bite you. Okay. When you're ready to go, then you'll move to your right. What do you mean when I'm ready to go? And the dog will bite and then we'll pull back on the... On the so wait, so when I'm ready to go, I go like this? Yeah, you just go take a step, like a big step to your right. Okay. And the dog will come up and bite okay. the suit. And you'll grab it right here and we'll start doing this thing. This is how I look when I'm in a plane too. Oh, okay. Good. All right, so now we're going to bring you down. Stand still. Stand still. Oh. Take it back. Good. Nice. Nice. Okay. This is fun. Yeah, move around. Move around. There you go. Please. Exciting news for us here, Andy. ABC News came out and did a big story on Falco Canine Academy. Tell me about that. Well, they want to know about our bed bug detection dog program. And I'm sorry, police guys, but we have to talk about bed bugs a little bit. But uh, there's um, a lot of uh, lawsuits going on where people are suing hotels uh, because while they were staying there, they claimed that they got bed bugs and then took them home and infested their home. Yeah. Uh, and that is happening in cruise ships. It's happening in uh, hotels, apartments, motels. Uh, uh, you know, homeless shelters are having some complaints about bed bugs. And it, it doesn't matter whether you would live in clutter 
or you have the cleanest house in the world, you can still get bed bugs. So um, the news want to know how it was we were training the dogs and what our story was and why um, the dogs were becoming uh, used in that type of industry. Fantastic, and it brought in, I'm sure, an infiltration of new business. Yes, it did. Which I is mean, exciting. Not only are we selling dogs for that purpose, but people have been calling us to uh, bring our dogs uh, over to their places to do some searches. The OC Pet Expo. Yes. You guys were there. It was the 10th year that you've been a part of this. Tell me about that. I was there. I got the invite on this one. Not on the ABC News story, but I got the invite to, the, to attend the OC Pet Expo, which was Incredible, so many animals. You and along with uh, 40,000 of our friends came down. Uh, it's a great show. 40,000 friends? <laughs> yeah. Look probably. at my Facebook, are you kidding me? Uh, but we have uh, the, the, uh, the great opportunity to go out there and, and do shows. We have a booth, but we have the three shows that we do each day. We're able to show how we train pet dogs from beginning to when they hit the street. We demonstrate protection dogs and our detection dogs and our obedience and that kind of stuff. So it's a great opportunity for us for all the people out there to see what we do. And it gets a great uh, uh, influx of people from not only Orange County, but from LA, San Bernardino, Riverside, LA, San Diego. It's a really, really good show. It is, and there are also animals that were up for adoption yep. as well. Hundreds of animals, cats, dogs, you name it. There are turtles, I love turtles. On a sadder note, Andy, Ike, one of the family members, passed away. His end of watch date was April 17th yes. last month. What mm -hmm. happened? Well, I got the call about 2 o'clock in the morning, probably 15 minutes after the incident. And what had happened is that uh, Junior was an officer in Palm Springs Police Department, and uh, Chris Duthaler, who was a, another canine handler that works with us, they were on a call together trying to capture a suspect who was a uh, parolee at large. And a fight ensued. Uh, during that fight, they decided to use the dog. And while the dog was uh, on the suspect, he pulled out a gun and shot the dog and then shot uh, Junior. Um, and so and the dog died at the scene. Junior was saved by his best. And Ike was, was protecting and doing yeah. doing his job and yeah. he, you said he was such a, a great a great canine. Great canine, they've become a, such a great team. Uh, the dog was actually engaged and fully on the suspect. Wow. Which fortunately for uh, Junior, um, the, the suspect was not able to get a clean shot at Junior. And so uh, Because of Ike. Because of Ike. And so he also could not shoot Chris who was also right standing right there too. So because of him being engaged in doing what he was supposed to do, the two officers were able to, uh, to stay alive. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, the suspect also lost his life. Uh, but that's what happens when you pull right it down. Yep. Yeah, when you shouldn't be doing what you're, what you're doing. Yep. Absolutely. So because of Ike, he saved two officers' lives. So thank you, Ike, for your service and your, your dedication to protecting all of us. He will be missed. And he was the first dog, service dog, that was killed in, in action in Palm Springs, correct? In Palm Springs and for Falco Kennedy Academy. We've been doing this since 1995. Yeah, so so. You, you guys had a beautiful memorial for yep. him with that pipes and all, and you did the eulogy. Yep. So you will be missed, Ike. We're always concentrating on bed bug detection training, but I want to know a little bit more about what goes on behind like training police dogs. Well, we actually have some stuff coming up with the, the police dogs. We have um, Cathedral City is getting another dog, a replacement dog for one of the dogs that just got retired. Uh, Desert Hot Springs has uh, told me that they're going to be adding a second dog to their program. Uh, Palm Springs, of course, we're going to be replacing Ike. We can't replace Ike, but we're going to be giving the handler a different dog and they'll be going through their training. So we have an academy coming up, which there's still room for any police department that has a desire to uh, put a new dog out in the street uh, in June. It's going to be towards the end of June. We don't have an exact date, somewhere on the 23rd. So we have some room for some new police dog handlers to uh, get trained with their dog. It's a six uh, to seven week academy. I was just going to ask how long it takes. Yep. Do It'll it? take six, seven weeks to train the handler to get them onto the street, but it never stops training. It, as long as they are working, they're always training and working on their skill. Um, so, uh, is, is this like bomb detection, narcotic detection? What kind of work would, would the canines be doing? Most of the dogs uh, will do, be doing both 
patrol where they go out and search for bad guys, protect the handler, do tracking to search for either suspects or lost children or that kind of thing. Uh, on top of that, they'll be either trained for narcotics or explosive uh, detection. You said that one of the dogs just retired. How long does a service dog last with the police academy? Well, it depends on a lot of factors. Of course, health is an issue and if they get injured, but in the most cases, we looked for a dog to be on the street about six years. Wow, that's a fair amount of time. Yep. That's good, yeah, because they're still young. Yep. So now, this means that you have to have a, more of an influx of dogs coming in. Yes. So where, where do you find the dogs? All of our dogs that are for detection dog work are shelter dogs, rescue dogs, or dogs that are at a home right now where they can't stay. Uh, and so what we look for are dogs that have a strong desire to play and hunt, and uh, in most cases those dogs be, can be used. We tend to look around the Labrador retriever sized dog that can be a small German Shepherd or a cattle dog of some sort, something like that. We don't uh, particularly use the beagles that seem to be popular for whatever reason. Uh, that's a whole another discussion that's on one of our other videos. Uh, but if we do find a beagle that works and does the job, we're more than happy to uh, uh, support that team in the efforts of uh, hunting down dead bugs. What about Pomeranian poodles? Not likely. Cupcake is very smart. Okay. We'll talk about that later in another episode. Well, Thank we can search for much. cupcakes that are hidden in the walls and that dog would be fantastic. Or chocolate. It's not in my contact, you can make fun of my dog. It's fur. <laughs> She's chubby because of her fur. <laughs> All right, Sporting Clays event is coming up. It is. Tell me about that. We did this last year. This is actually where we met. Yes. So it's like coming up on our one. And Dan, the cameraman, who's right by the camera. Dan, the ca Dan, Dan, the yeah. wonderful cameraman. We all met at the Sporting Clays uh, Invitational. Yep. And so it's coming up in June. Yep. Are you excited about that? Yeah. Actually, we should have something on our website or Facebook that people can actually buy tickets to attend or compete uh, alongside stars like Eric Estrada. Yeah. Let's um, see. Tom Selleck is going to be there. Patrick Kilpatrick is yep. the one that hosts the event. Looking ahead to June, what can we expect? We have a June Bed Bug Academy along with a Police Dog Academy. Very important when you talk about the Police Dog Academy because that's obviously the most important thing in most people's minds. But we do also have a bed bug academy starting on June 20th. Well, and, and also in light of, of current events, at airports, they're now having canines come in, kind of detect the smell or something of the people. odor of explosives coming off a body as they walk down the, uh, the corridor. They're uh, going to have dogs out there that are trained to do that. So maybe that's looking ahead for Falco Canine Academy as well? Yes, we have actually looked at that, and there's a whole another backstory to that one too that we could tell somebody later. All right. <laughs> June's episodes. We're going to leave you hanging. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. That wraps up the latest events happening here at Falco Canine Academy. So we'll see you next month. Later, dog. Andy, I'm a girly girl. <laughs> Lynn Roden. Lynn Roden. Rawhide. Wow, you threw me off. <laughs> oh, sorry. You threw me off. Sexy, beautiful mountains.